I think that uh, it was an awesome day. You know, I'm, I'm sitting out there chewing my fingernails off, going, man, oh man, if somebody crashes a Benson airplane, oh my God, what's going to happen? And, it was it was pretty awesome. I think it, I think everybody can say honestly that it was spectacle. And uh, you know, it can only grow from that. It got really cool once we really started to figure out airplanes, times. And, and then we started getting those brackets down at the end so they can go head to head and make it pretty challenging. And there's a lot going on, more so than just a go land short and stop and walk away and drink your beer as a winner. You know, you're pulling power, should I go with flaps? What should I pull? Ground effect, get out of ground effect. There's a lot going on and uh, it was pretty cool. So kudos to all you guys who did it. Yeah! <laughs> I had no idea that it would ever turn into. We started with about five of us cruising around the Sierras and thinking, man, this is pretty neat. We're drinking beer over a bonfire. And, man, we should tell more people about this. Myself and Emmett, the crazy red booty driver. Who's not here this year? Next year, I think we had about 10, 12 people. After that, we're like, well, we should tell more people. I like, guess yeah, you're whatever. You guys go play in the desert, have your fun. That turned into 30. Then the next year, there was about 60. Last year, there was about 150 some. That last count, there was about 130, 140 planes that have come in. And we believe there's 103 to 110. I've had different reports, but there's about 105, 110 airplanes on the field right now. So that's pretty awesome. Nice. Over and, and you gotta keep your wits about you. The last, you know, I hate to dwell on the, the other side, this will be the last I say about it, but it just has to stay in your mind because we still got lead. Last year there were only three airplanes in the air and we lost two of them. And I just, you know, if you guys can all think about Tom Reese and Tyler Adams, those guys are two guys who flew with them a lot. You know, it could be any single one of you guys. That I, I just don't want to see that happen. This close to not having to fly again because of that, and I thought, man, if we get all these people, it's nuts. But, you know, we're all pretty smart people, and if you remember to keep your smarts about you and just fly like a pilot, it's not to the airport. It's treated like such. You can have a lot of fun and do it fun and safely. And my biggest goal with this whole flying is really to promote general aviation. There's nothing better than going to a fuel pump and having a guy sit there and come up and kick your tires and scratch his head and think, where the heck are you going to go with this thing? And what are these tires for? And, you know, well, I'm going to go out there out yonder and go land on the mountain. The guy kind of walks away. And good luck with that. And it's pretty neat that we have this kind of community that wants to come and hang out and play in the mountains and land off field and get into the, the backcountry type of line. And I think that when we're traveling around, Out there. <laughs> we're just scratching the surface. So, you know, if I had one wish for this to come is that, you know, we try to do our damnedest to make it safe. We take that very seriously. My business, I have a heli school business in Alaska for almost 20 years. My business is safety and trying to keep these people safe. And it's on a daily basis. I'm surprised I have fingernails left. But I hope that when you guys leave here, you promote it as such. And I think, you know, this thing can only get bigger, but you get to that point, how big do you want to get? And that gets into all crazy logistics. And this is perfect right now. It's awesome. So anyway, I'll sort of stop on that part and just say thanks to everybody for, for being safe. We still got tomorrow morning to get out of here and do it properly. We got a great breakfast tomorrow. Thanks to the man and fire guys for coming out. Yeah. Fire would
guys, those that came in and brought the porta potties out, the cookers and, and the food, everybody that helped with the stole drag, the guys that are filming and doing all the video stuff, the pyrotechnics. Who's that guy? I don't know who that was. 